Hi everyone, Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia. An important first step when it comes to lawn care is knowing what type of turf you actually have. By understanding your turf varieties, you will be able to determine what specific products are suitable for your lawn. It's also handy to know for when it comes to lawn maintenance so you can undertake the right things particular to your variety. In this video, we'll give you some tips on how to identify some of the most common lawn varieties. Softleaf buffaloes have a broader leaf than most other turf varieties. The new breeds of buffalo should also be really soft to touch in comparison to the older, scratchier varieties. The broad leaf is on average a width of seven and a half millimetres and has a deep green colour. Buffalo grasses, like Sir Walter DNA certified, grow from stolons or runners above the ground. These runners are often green or have a purple tinge in colour. These runners are tubular in shape and have little to no rhizome growth below ground. During certain times of the year, or when stressed, buffalo grass will produce a seed head that can somewhat resemble that of a thin asparagus. Cooch grasses, also known as Bermuda grasses, have a very fine leaf, much finer than buffalo, and a very quick growing, which means they're highly wear tolerant. Cooch grasses spread laterally from runners both above and beneath the ground. The leaf blade has an average width of two and a half millimetres, is a mid to dark green, and will stay generally quite short. They have a long stem that can lead to scalping if left unmown for extended periods. The seed heads grow from a cluster of two to six spikes, depending on the species. It is also important to note that there is what is known as hybrid coochies, for example, Tiff Tuff. Hybrid coochies are very similar in appearance to common coochies, but they have superior traits and performance attributes. Zoysi grasses have a fine tapering leaf blade, but are slightly wider than cooch. There are a number of different species of zoysi grass, which all have differences in appearances, but for the most part, they all share the following traits. Very fine to medium width leaf blade, dense growth habit, slower growing than cooch or kaikuyu grasses, and they tend to have a triangular shaped leaf tip. The leaf of one zoysia type, zoysia matrella, has an average width of about four millimetres and a mid to dark green colour. Zoysia matrellas, like Sir Grange, also have a very upright leaf growth, making them ideal for sporting surfaces, particularly golf. The seed head of this zoysia is a single spike with small purple flowers. Kaikuyu has a medium width blade, about five to six millimetres across, making it not as wide as buffalo, but wider than cooch and most zoysia grasses. Kaikuyu has a flat, soft, bright green leaf that has a mid rib line down the middle of the leaf blade. The sheath around the base of the leaf blade becomes more noticeable at longer lengths and tends to be a pale green when young before turning brown with age. Like cooch, Kaikuyu has robust runners, both above and beneath the ground, allowing it to spread in an invasive manner. The leaf on Kaikuyu also tends to grow much taller than other varieties, so during the warmer months, it will be the first grass that requires mowing. The seed head appears through long, white, thread-like stamens when flowering. Not to be confused with green cooch, as mentioned previously, blue cooch is actually not a cooch. Blue cooch is its own variety, and as the name suggests, it tends to have a blue hue to the leaf blade. It does have similarities to green cooches, but it is important to identify that blue cooch is not resilient to a broad range of herbicides that are commonly used on green cooches. Blue cooch, similar to buffalo, does not produce underground runners, so it's not as invasive as what green cooch will be. Blue cooch has a soft, deep blue to green, fine to medium leaf blade. The seed head it produces has two main branches and a tiny third branch. We hope that this general description of some of the more common lawn varieties will help you identify what type of grass you have. If you're still unsure though, please feel free to reach out to us here at Lawn Solutions Australia 
You can even send in a few photos of your lawn and we will help you identify it and also help with recommendations for that specific variety. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we hope to catch you next time.